What is up Bertini fam? Now as many of you already know from a previous video, I installed a full carbon fiber GP spoiler on my 2020 Mini Cooper JCW. Well to me there were a ton of different fitment issues. So the first fitment issue is right here. Um, I couldn't do anything. I tied in this all the way down. I tried everything possible. Um, it started like bowing right over into uh, this area right here in this area. Um, Man, this thing feels so fragile right now. Um, it just, it, yeah, same, well, this side, actually, if you can see, it's normal on this side, but um, even the alignment on the rear, it's like bowing in as if these two pieces are just way too tight pushing in on this piece, which is causing it to have this like bow effect on it. Anyways, as I stated in that video where I installed the GP spoiler, um, it's not that it's a bad spoiler, it's just not for me. It required a lot of modification. If you're interested in checking out the video, go ahead and check out that video. Um, but it required too much modification for me. My Mini Cooper has a lot of money invested into it for me to go ahead and just cheap out on a part like this. And it's crazy because when I say cheap out, it was not cheap at all. Um, it did require quite a bit of modification plus the spoiler itself i think all in all i was like 500 and something dollars in on that piece but yeah well i went ahead and decided to just splurge and get the cream of the crop in terms of the spoilers um and i'm going to show you what that is here in a second but do me a big favor if you have not yet joined the bertini fam go ahead and click that subscribe button and the notification bell. I put out weekly videos pretty much every single weekend. You can expect a video coming out from me. So you'll want to hit that notification bell. And of course, like I said before, it's completely free to do so. Clicking that subscribe button, it doesn't cost you anything but a single click. With that being said, I wanna go ahead and show you what spoiler I ended up with going with. But before I do that, let's go ahead and roll the intro. Now, the spoiler I ended up with is from this brand called RSI C6. This came all the way from Italy. I'm gonna be installing a few different parts from them um, that I purchased. I like went crazy on their website um, because they have so many, so many nice things on their website. By the way, if you're interested in saving some money, go ahead and you could use code Bertini. I believe it's either Bertini or Bertini 10. Check out in the description box below. I'll link the actual code of what it is, but you can save some money on uh, some parts on their website if you are interested in picking up some stuff. They have like super, super high premium carbon fiber parts, high premium uh, body parts in general. They have like a lot of one-off parts, meaning that they are the makers of them. These parts are made in Italy, so super, super high quality stuff. Anyways, let's go ahead and get this thing unboxed so I could show you what all we decided to go with. And thanks to Movie Magic, we'll go ahead and get this unboxed in one, two, and people, this is why you spend the extra money, buy ones, cry ones. This thing is, I mean, I can't even, words can't even begin to explain how nice the quality on this. One, obviously the craftsmanship on this thing is just absolute perfection. No modifying, no touching needed. Look at this. Look at the carbon fiber. I got the adjustable. Look at, look at the adjustable um, material, the adjustable uh, bracket here. <laughs> it's so beefy and so sick. If you look back at the previous video on the other spoiler, it's just like a night and day difference in like the quality. And what's crazy is this, these pieces, oh, by the way, these are painted. I don't know if you could tell by um, the video, they come these this way. So this is like ready, ready to go install. So if you factor in the cost of what it would take to get these side pieces painted on the other version plus this, I mean, plus everything that you get in here, you're literally only spending, especially if you use my discount code, you'll literally only be spending about $200 more than if you, meaning going with the original versus going with like a replica version um, from China. But look at this thing, look at this hollowed out. This thing, <laughs> I can't even imagine how much this thing weighs. It's so, so, so lightweight, it's crazy. Actually, I wanna put this thing on a scale. That's how lightweight this thing is, but yeah. The quality of the carbon fiber, it is just meticulous. 
I've purchased carbon fiber parts from Italy before, so I'm very familiar with the quality of carbon fiber that comes out of Italy. I've done it for um, my Harley Davidson Street Glide. As many of you already know, that thing is pretty much an all carbon fiber, and the carbon fiber that comes out of Italy is just premium, premium grade stuff. Anyways, before we go ahead and get this one taken off the Mini Cooper, let's go ahead and weigh up the other one so we could see how light the blade is itself because this thing, I remember, I mean, this, this setup is pretty lightweight, but this other one feels like crazy, crazy lightweight. And to do that, we need to get our handy dandy scale. By the way, I need to take my RC cars out. It's been a minute since I've ridden any of these things or driven any of these things, especially this one. My Nitro one, that thing's a beast. Actually, that motor's from Italy too. Anyways, let's go ahead and get out. Oh, by the way, it does come with all the hardware that you need um, in order to get this thing installed. Um, that's their information. I will put a link in the description um, box below anyways to their website and to their all the information that you need. Um, but yeah, look, they're in Venice, Venice, Italy. All right, I don't know why I said it like that, but anyways, let's go ahead and get the scale on here. Let's see how light this thing is. Oh my God, it feels like I'm not even like lifting anything. Let's see, let's see what we're at here. Dang, only 542 grams. All right, let's see what that is. One pound, three ounces. That is crazy. It is like, feels like a feather, it's so light. Anyways, I've already done a lot of talking and I'm tired of looking at this old spoiler on my Mini Cooper. So let's go ahead and get this thing off of the Mini and get the new one on. I'm hoping that the holes line up with the ones that I already drilled out for that uh, previous one. By the way, look, this one comes with holes. I forgot to bring that up. This one came already drilled and ready to go with holes, but hopefully the holes um, that I drilled on it already to put the rivets in, um, Hopefully those match up, but if not, you know, we could always, you know, drill some more holes and it is what it is. But uh, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, I wanna show you something here really quickly. It's already started to rust. Like, oh man, look at that. There's rust in this thing already. Like this spoiler hasn't even been on for a week. No, maybe I, that's a lie. It's probably been like two weeks, but still, look at that. There's already rust in there. Let me see on this side. Yeah, there's already rust in the holes. That's crazy. It's been on, it, it has, it's probably been like two weeks, but still <sighs> like a complete waste of money. So I gotta show you guys something. This goes to show you the difference when you just pay a little bit more money and um, get a good quality product. This thing requires zero modification whatsoever. It literally bolts right up. All you have to do is place it on there and it fits perfectly. L let me put the GoPro on a mount so I could show you guys this. Okay, so watch this. I'm not making anything up here. Look at this. It's just how it is. I haven't touched or modified anything whatsoever. Literally place it, you put it, and that's it. All you gotta do now is drill your holes and put your rivets in and you're done. That's it, nothing, that is all. RSI C6, you guys get definitely a thumbs up already. This is a, a huge improvement over what I just installed before. I wish I would've just bought this in the first place instead of spending the extra, or instead of spending the money. Now I gotta figure out how to sell the other one um, to somebody who'd be willing to buy it. Anyways, let me go ahead and mark up where I'm gonna drill my holes and yeah, make the holes happen. Okay, and now that I've marked up, on both sides, put tape where the spoiler portion is gonna start. Um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna measure with a caliper um, to make sure that these are equal distance apart from here to here um, on both sides, just so we have like an even install on obviously on both sides of it. All right, I just realized some of you might not have a caliper, one of these things on hand. So I went ahead and got my tape measure just to show you the distance um, between this edge and here, which is where we're gonna um, mount the piece. And so it is, uh, for the layman, it is inch and a half plus two squiggly lines, plus two little lines right there.
there's two tools that I want to recommend that you get for this job and it's one is this uh, step up right here this step up drill bit and you're going to be going to the three eighths marker what I would do is first hit that top line and then obviously fit the the rib nut in and then see how it actually um, fits and then kind of go down from there but it should be a three eighths at least that's the one that I was sent here these are three eighths the other tool that I'm going to recommend is going to be a rib nut kit um, I could put a link in the description box below just in case you're not here in the U.S. I got this um, from a local store I believe it was Harbor Freight over here but um, obviously there's equivalent versions in the UK or anywhere else that you are in, in the world um, you just need a rib nut kit and uh, I'm using the M6 pattern here All right, so now I got both of the rib nuts in, so these are all ready to go. The other side is ready to go too. Um, I cleaned everything up, vacuumed everything out, made sure that there was no metal shavings here or like anywhere inside of the vehicle. Um, and let me show you here. So now what we need to do is we actually need to take this over. We're gonna have one side loosely fitted, um, and I'll show you what I mean by that. Um, and then we'll go ahead and put the, the blade on, and then we'll go ahead and fit the other side up and then we'll get everything tied in down um, to the appropriate, to the appropriate, definitely not to the appropriate, to the appropriate spec. By the way, there's gonna be two washers included in the kit. One goes on the inside, one goes on the outer portion. Okay, so super easy. All right, so I just realized I'm gonna need a second hand, so uh, let me go call my oldest son. So now we got it all buttoned back up, and this thing came out, look at this, look at that fitment, it's just perfect. This is how it should have been, not this one, but you know, the one I bought previously, it's just per absolutely perfect fitment. Um, I did adjust the wing a little bit, but now what I have to do is I have to get this thing, um, bolted in and or screwed in not bolted let me show you the screws here so it comes with um these four screws they're phillips screws so it's super simple do not over tighten this stuff i see a lot of people they like try to torque down stuff into carbon fiber not the smartest idea so just simply hand tighten in and you should be good to go i should mention by the way for those out there who might not know but the screws go under here so they go into here and here and then uh, here and here. So I'm only mentioning this because this might be helpful for you guys who are installing this. So when I went to film the part where I was installing these, um, as you know, like I was just finishing everything up and it wouldn't line up perfectly. And so what I ended up having to do was, is I ended up having um, to remove this completely, push it all the way forward. So completely in the forward position and then screw this in. And then now you'll be able to go ahead and put these down um, and align it perfectly, but um, that is how it should look. Don't try forcing anything in. Just push this thing all the way forward and then you can make your adjustments now. So you all ready to see the end result? Here you go. And this thing came out looking so freaking nice. You can definitely see the difference now that everything is fitted. Look, there's no more bowing in this thing. It's just perfectly even the way it's supposed to be. Everything just fits so flush, so crisp. Um, 
definitely worth the money um, to go this route. Highly recommend if you're interested, obviously, in going with a GP style spoiler. This is definitely the one that you want to go with. The brand, like I said, I'll include links in the description box below, but it's RSI C6. And if you use my code, um, which will also be in the description box below, um, it's either Bertini or Bertini 10. Um, it'll save you a bit of money, quite a bit of money, actually, off of these things, off of any product uh, that's on their website. So highly, highly recommend picking one of these things up. Super happy with the way that this thing turned out. With that being said, I want to wish all of you a very happy new year from the Bertini fam. I hope that this new year is going to be great for you all. Make sure one of your goals for this new year, if you haven't already been doing this, make sure you're putting out good energy into the world and you're paying it forward. I'll check y'all out later. Bye now.